Name one thing worse than being left out. Tell one one thing that's that's worse than being left out. Go on, tell me. Do you have something to say? <laughs> Are you saying anything? Speak up. <laughs> just name one thing. Actually, I one thing. That's it. Just one I thing. I do have an answer. Seriously, nobody has an answer. Actually, I oh. So nobody has an answer. <coughs> I do. Great! <laughs> no one has an answer. I'll go. Nothing. There's absolutely nothing worse than being left out. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out here. Anyway, being left out or feeling like you don't belong is literally one of the worst feelings in the whole world. Maybe this has been happening to you your whole life, or maybe it's something new and you're like, why is this happening to me? It's never happened to me before. Whatever the case may be, there is a reason. Or maybe you really are just left out. <gasps> My bad. But anyway, here's how to never be left out again. Huh? 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 You're still here? See, you're already improving. You're still here. No one left you out. Yeah. Okay, I should I should have seen that one coming. But anyway, here's how to never be left out again. Tip one. Make yourself the biggest person in the room. Preferably take up the whole room. Maybe even the whole world. Because how can people possibly ignore you when they can't even get past you? Yo. Two. Never let people know your next move. Because how can people possibly ignore you when you literally make their heads turn? Yo, did you see the new movie? Oh my god, yes, that movie is so good. I know. I've never felt that type of, like, tension. That movie is so good. It's such a good movie. They portrayed everything so well. The one, uh, what are their names again? I forgot their names. Susu and Kaka. Susu and Kaka. I know, right? Susu and Kaka. Those names are so, like, it just rolls off the tongue. So, I don't even know the word. Like, they're so, like, flowy. Do you know how much I learned from that movie? Yo, me too. I know. We're actually supposed to flush the toilet. I've just been leaving it there. And it, like, magically leaves. I didn't realize you what people, you, I didn't you realize someone flush the toilet. Do. <laughs> Tip three, force yourself into a conversation because how? How can people possibly ignore you when you're forcing them to look at you? Isn't that what that guy sounded like? What? What? It uh, isn't that what that guy sounded like on the toilet in, in, in the movie? <laughs> you know? Susu and Kaka, the movie. He, he sounded just like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what he sounded like, right? What? That was actually spot on. Yeah, that's, that's that's funny, but... That's what he sounded like, but maybe don't start a conversation like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you should start a conversation like that. I'm sorry, I know, I, I know, I know. I, sh I probably shouldn't, but like, come on. I, I had to, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. funny. Okay, we're... Oh. <laughs> Do something you like to do because distracting yourself is the only thing you can do other than cry. Tip five, cry. Why? Why do I always get left out? I'm always the one who no one invites. Why me? Why am I? <coughs> so I just, I need help. I think she's taking a big caca. Tip six, make a bad decision and do something crazy because how can people possibly ignore you when you're the hot gossip? And finally, step seven. If you've been trying for years or have been trying to join a conversation for years with a specific person or a specific friend group and they've been ignoring you, constantly making you feel bad and giving you looks, you gotta get new friends. I don't want you to feel left out. All right, all right. <laughs> All right, seriously, it's not worth it to feel bad more times than you feel good with a specific person. I've learned that the hard way, the hard way. Like you think the hard way, like, uh, I think the cock is still going. <laughs> anyway, anyway, don't take anybody's caca, okay? Mentally and physically. Oh, please not physically, okay? But seriously though, it's not worth you feeling bad just to make someone else feel better. And I know you know that too. And you know what else you should do? Subscribe, okay, please go. Go get some new friends, go use your own advice. Oh my goodness gracious. Anyway, that's really all I have to say other than watch the video that's on the screen right now and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.